I remember being eight years old and coming down here. This was a significant area where we jumped off the bridge. You know, it wasn't a high bridge. This wasn't like running off the crazy stuff. This was the fun <laughs> one where everybody would come down, party. It was just like a great place to be on the water. But if you came here during that time, you would not see this channel right, right. here. Uh, the river kind of stayed for those years in its path and went out there. So, so what you would have is this seasonal bridge that would go in and get pulled out. And over the years, as environmental regulations got more and more stringent, and in many ways, rightfully so, uh, the regulators started to say, no, 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 you, gotta, you, you, you can't put that bridge until later. you got to pull it out earlier. And so now, individuals who live on that side of, of, of the river are saying, not just now, but even as many as like 100 years ago, requesting for, an, for, for a bridge. I'm Karen Davis, and I live right over there. And when, when we all leave, I'm going to have to do a 20-minute drive clear around yeah. Cloverdale yes. to get back to my home, which is like a stone's throw. Yeah. And so, you know, naturally, we're everybody in, on this side is like really excited about this. We have like three seasonal crossings in Sonoma County still, a couple yep. in West County and this. Yep. And so this has been a sustained effort, not just by Joe Hannes and I, but by the community, the Alexander Valley Citizen League, yep. others, and doing self-assessments on that side, helping us fund stuff. So Joe Hannes, why don't you just tell us what we're doing? And, uh, because the biggest thing is, is that I'll just start by saying, we wouldn't have fought to get a million and a half or two million dollars into environmental review if we weren't committed to build a bridge. And that, we, uh, probably a month ago, approved the million that I was able to reallocate out, out of a, another infrastructure fund that's going to go wow. for the full environmental. Thank um, you, County. That's yeah, great. Yeah, but Johannes, why don't you... Yeah. This is your you show. Like a, thank you. Let thank you. Away. So, the seasonal crossing. Every year, every time we have a flood, something changes. 2019, we had to install two bridges out here. Uh -huh. This year is completely different again. So normally, supervisor, like you recall, the, the river would come behind that gravel bar okay. and it would flow in between the two abutments. Yeah. You would not see any of this water. This is the first year where the, the, the river changed, where now it's going straight at the abutment. So we're trying to figure out how we're going to open this thing. Um, it's completely different. We've got water here. Um, there is still water going between the two abutments. But we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. We're working with the permitting agencies and all you know, trying to figure that out. Difficult environmental process for sure. Long term, we want to build a permanent bridge. And the permanent bridge is going to come, almost follow the same alignment here. And it's going to go, but rather than going in the same alignment here, where you see the K rail on top of the road, we're moving the alignment south. And that's going to go on the Cheyenne property rather than the... Daily property. So we're not going to work with, with Julie, we're going to work with Sydney, and she's agreed to sell that property. So we have, the bridge is probably going to be, you know, it has to be high, way higher, and it's going to land on the other side and then connect with River Road. This would be a perfect loop when you're biking to come from Crocker Road all the way out here and come around, which would be awesome. Um, this year, we probably are going to be starting June 15th, May installation, and then probably open it by the 4th of July. It'll be open until October. It'll be open in October, November, whatever, it is, depending on what the weather does. Mm -hmm. But the key about October is that at that time, right when we get into like mid-September, the regulatory agencies start to say, it's time for you to take out the bridge. Mm -hmm. right. And if all of us know what happens in early October, that's when we have our Diablo winds yeah. and our right. fires. fires. And so at the same time that we're looking at pulling this out at the same time, so every year we do the same thing, yeah. which is we get a letter from the fire yeah. district saying, don't pull this out. We get a letter from the citizens group saying, don't do this yet. Mm -hmm. We go back to the environmental group, uh, regulators. They say, okay, we'll let you keep it in a little bit longer, but if it, does, if, if, if it doesn't, if you don't pull it out in time, we're, you know, or if it causes a take for a fish population, we're going to come after you hard. Right. Yeah. So, but they're willing to play with us 
in terms of the regulation and the permitting for this, as long as they know we have a long-term plan for a permanent bridge now. So that's kind of the, the mind frame switch. Is the regulators, they, they ultimately, even though they're, they're like, we're going to hold us accountable because their job is to protect the fish in the area and not have us with excavating and bulldozers in here and moving things out. But at the same time, we need to turn them into positive for them to write letters to help us get the grants because they want that too. So uh, I think the other thing that Johannes didn't mention is, but is a big part of this is, can you imagine a better public access area also for the Russian yeah, River? Yes. So a bridge comes in, you create public access area, you uh, you know you really you really honor kind of the heritage of this area, but then you get the safety. Um, so I think I. I think we're going to make this happen. I wouldn't have put a million and a half towards a, a permitting process if we didn't make this happen. Right. Talk about the funding opportunities. Because uh, for a while, what we were looking at was bonding. Right. We still are. That's still like, so. Instead of us putting 150 to 350 thousand a year into putting this bridge and removing it, is use that as a payment for a long-term loan in government, which is called a bond, yeah. to be able to get 20, 25 million bucks to do this. And for the folks on that side, they've said what they'll do is create a landowner assessment and pull in a couple million on their owns to meet to, to meet us, not halfway, but right. have skin in the game. Right. But we also have some grants going in to try and uh, fund all of it. Yeah, about maybe four and a half years ago, we started talking with Supervisor Bohr, Steve Johnson, who passed away about a year and a half ago, and Jeff Peters. And they came up with $20,000 to do a feasibility study that started and kicked this thing in gear. After that, Supervisor Gore took it in. He started allocating $50,000 so we do more studies. And more recently, a million and a half so we can clear the environmental and have 30% of the design of the bridge. Once we get there, the Alexander Valley Citizens League is going to tax themselves for $4 million. And then the bridge is going to cost $26 million. That gap, we're, going, we're planning on using either iBank or USDA, and then we'll, the county will get a bond or somehow and we'll figure out how to do it. At the same time, we're applying for all kinds of grants. If we get a grant, the first part of the grant is going to cover the $4 million, so the residents don't have to pay anything, and then we'll continue to go with the 26 and we'll build it. Um, we expect to have the full environmental clearance by the end of the year with some acquisition of right away full environmental clearance. Then after that is forming the district, and looking for ways to get to construction. And I think if we pull this off, I was telling uh, Susie and Linda, it will be the first crossing in the Russian River in over 100 years, yeah. which yeah. would be awesome if we can do it. And it's a huge yeah. benefit for the community. Yeah. Yeah. Life's good. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do this.